So it has been another three months since my first or last update, however you want to call it. Um, yeah, since the last week I've been studying Japanese for nine months and I wanted to make a little short update video on what has changed and you know, um, maybe to showcase like what my understanding of Japanese is like where, like how much do I actually understand at the nine month mark. So, <clears throat> first off, um, yeah, I'm a little late on this video because I was on vacation for 11 days in Italy and I had a lot of time to read and I've nearly finished three light novels, which I'm yeah, kind of proud of, yeah. Um, I'm also going to showcase one of the light novels to you know, showcase how much my understanding currently is. So, Let's get to it. What changed? <clears throat> um, mainly, as I've mentioned in another video, or maybe even in the six month update, I bought a Kindle. And since the six month update, so three months, I've been using it pretty much daily. Um, I set myself a goal to have at least one hour of reading every day. And yeah, so. In this time period, in the last three months, I've read seven, seven light novels. Um, another thing that changed is that I stopped tracking time. Um, I briefly mentioned that I started tracking my my active immersion, passive immersion time, and so what is not. But um, yeah, it, it became so stressful to me to always track my time. Sometimes, you know, you stop, you can't even think anymore clearly. Um, because I always have a, like this limit in my head where I would say, oh, I need like 8 or 10 hours of immersion, active immersion, passive immersion in a day. Which is pretty, like for someone, for a student, maybe attainable, but for normal people, not. And I would stress myself about, you know, reaching those goals. And even if I would fall like one minute behind, you know, you have to do two more minutes the next day to equalize that, right? So, yeah, I stopped that because it actually fucking stressed me out a lot. Um, yeah, let's get into some stats. Um, so, currently, in my SRS Mio deck, I have 4,720 cards. Um, which is, I believe, 2,000 more than last month, somewhere around that ballpark. I calculated that I added up around 23 cards every day, um, on average. Because I, I normally add 25 cards a day, but uh, I had some days where I only would like add 15, um, especially when I was like on vacation, um, just to, you know, lower the load. And in my Recognition RTK deck, I currently have 2,150 words I'm learning or have cards of. So I'm pretty much done with the, um, you could say, the newspaper kanji, something like that. But there's some kanji in there that you wouldn't find in newspapers. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I have like uh, the stack. I also mentioned uh, all in one kanji, and every card that is has listed a frequency below 3,000. That means um, that is in range of the most 3,000 used countries. I try to learn that everything above that, I you know, I cut out. I don't, I don't believe I need it at this stage. So to take a look at my reading for a second here, I have the third volume of the. Um, Megumin spin-off story of Kon the Konosuba books. Uh, I'm just gonna showcase you to um, like what my understanding is <clears throat> and how much I actually, you know, comprehend like my comprehension. Um, you can see here uh, these yellow marked words, or words that I either don't know or don't know how to, you know, pronounce. So these are words that I can't comprehend. In many of these cases, I 
could read the monolingual um, the monolingual dictionary, de dictionary definition that's uh, included with the Kindle and understand them. I would say in like maybe to one third a half of the time. I would actually understand what the word means pretty accurately. And sometimes I just don't know what the fuck they're even talking about, especially when it comes to like animals. Um, because these <laughs> monolingual di dictionary definitions are very, uh, you know, as you would expect, are very bi biologically like focused on the biology. And if you just look up like owl, um, yeah, you're not gonna get an easy explanation of this animal. It's just an example. But yeah, um, I would say it's around like 90% just from the sentences. Um, I can read it pretty much like without stopping. Just uh, I just mark the words and maybe read um, the dictionary definition. If I saw it more than like two, three times, I wouldn't even bother to read the dictionary definition anymore. Um, and to compare that, I've bought um, the first volume of Overlord. And I only read the chapter. <laughs> Because uh, this book is obviously a lot uh, more complex um, and a lot more words that are not as frequently used as the Konosuba books. And yeah, it was pretty tough to read. I only read like, what's that? Like, it's not even a chapter, like one. I think it's a chapter, maybe one chapter. It was just a prologue. And I would say I marked about around 20 to 30 percent of the words it was actually hard i mean it wasn't hard to comprehend what was going on in the story but uh, all these like detailed little words i found things were behaving people were behaving would definitely fuck with me and i'm still not ready to read these books even though i love overlords and many other light novels i'm thinking about reading but still i'm not you know, I'm not at the level where I can just casually read them like a kind of super. Yeah. Some other stands I thought I would make. Um, I just took two different anime, um, pretty much random, and I wanted one to be a slice of life anime and one to be something action driven, sane, and maybe. And just look at how good my audio comprehension is and I did that with uh, MPV and just with every sentence I didn't understand I just made a card for it even I didn't have subtitles so I only listened to the, the audio and watched the video and yeah so it's pretty much audio and like active listening immersion <coughs> and for these I have um, First I watched uh, Clanet, and it's not right. First I watched uh, Kiseche, or Parasite, the maximum. And just let me look this up. Um, I watched two episodes. Um, in total they have 672 sentences. Well, around that. And I've marked down 50, 50 sentences. So that's around 7.5% of all the sentences in the first two episodes I didn't understand completely. And I mean by completely, I mean sometimes, you know, looking back at these cards are not hard. I can understand them if I go back and um, uh, reread them or even listen to them. But uh, yeah, in that moment, I didn't understand them. So for, for, for first two episodes of Parasite, 7.5% for Clanet, there were 692 sentences and I didn't understand 70 of those. Uh, kind of surprised me with that a little bit, um, which equates to 10.1% of all sentences that I didn't understand completely. Um, yeah, I was kind of surprised that uh, Clanet was harder for me than something like uh, Parasite. Okay, say it too. Because uh, you know you always like equate sane, 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 um to like more, um, I guess, um, difficult words. 
But yeah, it was actually like the just teenagers speaking that was a little bit harder for me. Obviously, this is a pretty uh, small sample size, so you know, take it with a grain of salt. But um, yeah, that's some stats for you. So, what else? Um, I've also mentioned in the last update that I started beginning to transition to the monolingual, or that I was already in the transitioning phase. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, like, um, I would say I'm like 95, like 99% monolingual. The only times I'm, I don't put a uh, monolingual de uh, definition of a word into my cards is when uh, Colibri doesn't give me any response to something I search up. So sometimes, especially colloquialisms, because these you know, colloquialisms, they don't show up in these old dictionaries. I have to go on Shisho or oh, some other site. And normally if it's colloquialism, I just put an English definition in. But other than that, um, yeah, completely monolingual. Um, yeah. Maybe it was a little too fast. I'm kind of still feeling the after effects of these, uh, of the fast transitioning. Sometimes I just feel so lost in some sentences, even though they're pretty easy, honestly. But yeah, you know, you everybody has their good days and everybody has their like the bad days. Like, uh, for example, I sometimes I for day I feel like I can literally understand everything. I feel like a god and like a Japanese god. The next day, uh, feel like I'm like a dumb motherfucker that can't even comprehend a single simple sentence that would even a, a toddler would understand. Yeah. So yeah. Mm. So a few closing thoughts. Um, I'm gonna definitely make a video for my 12th uh, month uh, anniversary, <laughs> if you want to call it. Um, yeah, and I'm planning on speaking Japanese there. I'm still not comfortable speaking Japanese, not at all, because I noticed so many of my own mistakes, and I haven't, I, you know, I haven't um, really studied it. I, I really didn't put a lot into it at this point. Uh, like I really didn't try it at all. So what I'm thinking of doing is probably I'm gonna start um, shadowing beginning of month 11. Maybe I'm gonna take some italki classes. That's just a maybe if I have enough money to do that so for prolonged periods of time. And or oh, maybe I'm just gonna play VR chat and like I don't know, maybe find like a Japanese friend, I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to force these things, I feel like. Um, yeah, as I've previously mentioned, I've also started different uh, projects. Um, like the hour a day of reading. I've been doing that, I think I've... I have like three or four days where I didn't read an hour, but like only like 35 minutes. But it's okay though, I guess. Um, um, I've been doing that since my six. It was a little bit after my six month update. Oh, yeah, I definitely recommend doing that. Even I honestly, I was so late on reading. You should definitely start like reading at like like regularly uh, at like four or five, maybe I would believe. I would think. And it doesn't have to be like kind of super, maybe just manga, you know? That's more than enough, honestly. But I completely ignored it, I. Yeah. And I also started um, playing guitar. Like, um, I don't know. <laughs> just playing like an hour a day. Um, maybe I'm gonna make a video on that someday. You know, I have like 70 hours right now of playtime, I think. Yeah, even even less than that. I think I'm more like 45. I'm playing it with a program called Rocksmith. Pretty interesting, honestly. Um, yeah, maybe gonna make a video about that. 
but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you could take something away from this. Um, keep the emotion up, you know. See ya.